Hey everybody, it's Never. And I got some gum in my mouth. Um, I'm gonna tell you the worst thing about Tanan Jungle. <laughs> now that I'm about to talk about it, it's gone. The worst thing about Tanan Jungle is Draka the Orc. I cannot stand her. She's super annoying, she talks too much, and no offense to any individuals personally here, but I think that her voice actor is not that great. At least not in this performance. So that is my least favorite thing about Tanan Jungle so far. The rest of it's been pretty cool. I like that it's kind of dark here, so that's all right. And check that out, lightning just struck that tree. So, so there's that. And look at that, I swiped my paw and got a town. Pretty cool. At least Drak is gone now, so good riddance to that. I just discovered a new flight path. It's really good that I built all those boats to come here to get a flight path. Because then I can just, you know, fly over there. Just like that. But I got boats now. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Oh, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I gotta hand it to Blizzard, because... Like, two weeks ago, maybe three, I would have told you that Apexus Crystals were pretty much the most useless thing in the game. But now, I just can't get enough of them. There's all kinds of stuff I want that they are for. Good job, Blizzard. You made me want something by putting cool rewards behind it. What a concept. I'm not sure, but this looks to me like one of those quests that I'm not really going to need to try in order to do. I bet there's demons everywhere around here. And killing 20 of them probably won't be a big issue. We shall see. In case anyone's wondering about this Bring the Reinforcements quest, you can freely change it to any of them after you do it. So you don't have to worry about choosing the wrong one like with all the other things. And here we have the worst job in Tanan Jungle. You just wait, these people will be here for the rest of their natural lives. Maybe even longer. There's a pretty yellow sky. Oh. Well. This place got kinda yucky. Looks kinda like... Well, that's interesting. I mean, I can like see my house from here. <laughs> Look at all that. Why can't we just put a mana bomb in that place? That'd probably mess their day up at least. Dark putrid. Oh, hey, it's pretty again. Glowy, happy Tanan jungle. Now it's misty and. D oh, pretty. Is it gonna change again? Red and scary. Okay. Oh, hey, look, another flight path. Oh, yay. I get to talk to more orcs. Okay. Better get this flight path so I can fly back here. Don't know why I couldn't have done that in the first place. Oh, look at this box. Yep, that was a nice box. So, yeah, since there's this conflict going on with demons and orcs and stuff, what do the Alliance and Horde do? Oh, hey, look, there's the other faction's base. Where should we put our base? Right across the street. That's the best place we could put it for not being interrupted when we're trying to do our mission and stuff. Oh, don't worry about me, just innocent wildlife. Walking right in here and taking your boxes. No big deal. Oh, and then I gotta heal those dudes. <laughs> oh, look, there's a piece of chicken inside of a escape pod, I guess. Sets it on fire. More chicken. Right on. I can reach that from here too. And more chicken. So basically, if anyone's asking, what do you do in that Tanan jungle place? You pick up chicken. 
what it's all about. So far, that's what I do. I pick up chicken. So everyone, the biggest, most amazing secret about these boats is you can right click and rename them and give them basically the finest boat names ever. So there's that. So I was just sitting here talking to Luthi and she's down here in Dark Tide Roost saying how breaking these eggs, uh, you know how you do in Dark Tide Roost, is kind of the opposite of what you were doing here in the Outland version of it. And I'm thinking, what are you even talking about? And then it occurred to me. The Outland version of that place is none other than Netherwing Ledge. All right, let's see what we got from our mission for these ships. Oh, Duker ooked. What's in this box? It's probably a cat, because look how it's wiggling. Oh, just some XP. Well, 1,000 XP is pretty good, because the last one I turned in gave me 5 XP. 5 XP. Like, I don't even know what to do with that. 5 XP is so useless. You kill your first bow or you get more than 5 XP. I mean, I get... I could get 5 XP just by like looking in a direction. I get 5 XP from that. And they're trying to oh, do a mission, 5 XP. It, it's it's completely crazy. All right, let's see what we've got here. Apexis crystals or, oh yeah, sorceress air. Oh yeah, really need some of that. Okay, Apexis crystals. All right, let's ook some dukers. Oh crap, that's a piss poor chance. <sighs> I wonder if I can go make another boat. Let's see if we can make another boat first. It takes a long time to get around this shipyard. I'm not necessarily complaining, but yes, let's build another destroyer. And let's use this thing to get an instant boat. There we go. Oh, look at that. Mighty Destroyer, how does this boat like that even stay above the water? Okay, whatever. Duratan's Pride, I don't know about that name. Let's see, oh, I want to make another Destroyer. Faster! There we go, okay, another Destroyer has been made. I should name one Prince Joffrey or something. Raden's Lightning, oh, that's something. I wonder if Ra Den was named after the character with a similar name from uh, Mortal Kombat. Probably. It just seems like the only thing that would fit. Unless he's named after like ramen noodles or something. I guess that's possible. Alright, so here's my fleet. We gotta rename this thing. Um, let's see. Duratar's Pri or Duratan's Pride. We're gonna call this thing... The... Uh, Titanic 2. Because <laughs> it's, it's a great idea. Raden's Lightning. No, I want to call this. Um, oh gosh, what's the best name for anything ever? Monster Killer. Alright, that's Monster Killer the boat. Okay, now we're going to send them on missions to get me some Apexis crystals. So, Monster Killer and. Uh, Duker Uker. Oh gosh, it's such a hardly even a better 84% chance. You gotta be kidding me. Because I can't do the lightning thing. Is there somewhere I can get the lightning thing? I don't know. Let's just start the mission and see what happens. And then transport escort. Oh yeah. We'll let Jenny and Titanic 2 do that. There we go, in three hours, I'll be ready to send more boats off, unless... I just make some more boats. Let's build another destroyer. This is the great thing about having like 11 billion uh, garrison resources, because then you can just make a bunch of things. Also, there's a guy in Shadow Moon Valley, no, in uh, uh, Tanan Jungle, somewhere, and he sells a thing that makes it so that your garrison resources that like pile up outside your garrison give you a thousand instead of five hundred. Whoa! Look at that big old stopwatch thing. I mean, I've seen little ones in the garrison boxes and stuff, but I mean that thing is not messing around. 
I mean, you could fly past that second star to the right straight on till morning, and you're in freaking Neverland. Which is, um, that's, if I ever opened a theme park, that's kind of what it would be called. It, well, at least it's what it would have been called if it wasn't for, like, Michael Jackson and really tainting that name up. So I gotta come up with a new name for my theme park. Anyway, patch 6.2 so far has been pretty cool. There's some weird stuff that's been happening, like people getting achievements. Um, where is that? There's been people getting achievements for a bunch of stuff over and over again, like going to a couple of panda dungeons or whatever. Anyway, it, it, it doesn't matter. So uh, leave a comment and let me know what you think would be a good theme park name, because Neverland obviously isn't going to fly. And Neverworld's just way too, I mean, what a cop out. So uh, let's see what we get. And then um, I hope everyone's enjoying 6.2. Oh, one last thing. If you find you're on a PvP server and you are being a ganked too much, then all you gotta do is bring up this thing, go to pre-made groups, go to custom, go to find a group, and you'll find some people that are doing something like, oh look, my garrison has some crap. Well, Spirestone's PvP too, so you don't want that one. But you find one of them where it's like, look, my garrison has things in it, or somewhere where they're like, realm hop. And then you just jump onto that server and go do stuff. Just make sure that you're not actually in a full raid or you won't get credit for your quests. It's kind of a toss-up. If you have a buddy who's in, uh, who's on another realm, they can invite you, and then you can uh, you can convert it to a, a raid, and then I think they can leave, and you can convert it back to a party or something, and still keep the group. There's some way to do it like that. I don't know. It's tired, and my car blew up and barfed antifreeze all over the road today, so I got to fix that tomorrow. Anyway, okay, thanks. Bye. So I'm sitting here talking to Luthi, and she's uh, she's finishing up her dailies and stuff for the night, and she's like, I need to go and find some blood lurkers. And I'm thinking, what the freak is a blood lurker? And, uh, I mean, it's like, how come we never play blood lurkers anymore? It just doesn't sound like something you ever want to have with, you know, near you or anything. Well, it turns out they're, what are they, what are they really called? Blind Lake Sturgeon. Yeah, Blind Lake Sturgeon. So, my wife, from Blind Lake Sturgeon, she goes straight to Blood Lurkers. I, I mean, I may not sleep tonight. 